Hey guys, and welcome to another City Bus Manager video, where today we are going to continue to grow the company. Now, a lot of stuff has changed again. Another video, another amount of changes. We, there is a new DLC, and it is the electric, essentially electric bus DLC. Now, there's a whole bunch of research which we can research for, but I don't think we're going to get there yet. What I might do is just research the free ones for now. But there is a whole section where you're meant to get electric buses. Now, financially, we're not in a state to get electric buses. Because there's this whole, like, environmental bonus and stuff like that. Like, we're getting 0% environmental bonus. But, like, there's this whole carbon footprint where it wants 50% of your fleet to be electric. It wants you to produce power. It's, it's a whole, whole extra bunch of stuff. But it is kind of cool. I've been messing with it on a private save. It is kind of cool. Because you got... These that charge a bus, these produce like 96 megawatts or whatever it was. And then you've got these which produce 28. And you can place these down. These go on top of these. It's a lot of these. Um, one of these buses having issues? It is. It needs new wipers. Well, go get new wipers. But yeah, we are going to work on expanding the network more. Getting a better fleet. We've got double deckers running now. I haven't made deliveries. I said I was going to make deliveries. I forgot to make deliveries. And I'm very sorry. Um, but we're going to move on from that. Um, because we've got we've got a network to grow, guys. We've, we've, got to, we've, got to, we've got to get growing more and more. We've got our first one of our first local routes that isn't part of the network. That I forgot to put a timetable on for Saturday. So it doesn't have any buses running on it. Uh, that's my issue. Not... We'll move, we'll move past that. Um, why is our rating not free yet? Service center waiting time. There's no one there. And there hasn't been anyone there the whole time. Okay, well, we'll let them we'll let them do what they need to do. This needs to get pains into our livery. We've got a livery for that one. Uh, we don't have a livery for that one. There we go. Out, out in our lovely livery. Um, more buses have got destinations now. I can't remember if these have got destinations. Oh, we'll never know on that bus. Okay, that bus doesn't have destinations. That one have destinations? Nope. This one does, I think. It does. Bus says to subscribe now. So that means you literally legally have to subscribe now. So if we want to, we can do that. Or if we want a second line... There we go. Golden travel. It does it on that desk as well, which I'm not a fan of, but that's all right. But yeah, we can now add desks to like most of our buses, probably. Probably this one has desks, right? Uh, has all the buses been upgraded? All the buses are being upgraded. Good. There's research to be done. I could try and research double deckers. We could give it a go. The only issue is we'd then have to set up some whole electric thing. And I don't think, as a company, we're ready yet for electric buses. What I am trying to think of is, where should our next route be? We need to try and get another bus route in. And I'm not sure where it should go. And I'm tempted maybe to do kind of like an Aston route. Oh, sorry, a Witten route. Or maybe a Perry Bar to Witten to maybe connect up to Star City. Have another little local route. That could work out. Let's do that, yeah. I'll connect up some more places. Not a rail route, but... We can spice it up. Have some fake, like some non-real routes in, in, in and about. Um, but this is where I could set up some really like crazy interworking timetable where it goes. It does a Perry Bar route from Birmingham to Perry Bar. Then it goes from Perry Bar all the way up to across the Star City. And then from Star City back to Birmingham. Back, back to Perry Bar. And then Perry Bar down to Birmingham. That would be very complicated. Would be cool to set that up, though, to be honest. Um, for now, we're just going to slap half an hourly service from 6 till 9. And then 9 till, 9 till 1900 on Sundays. Just for now. If it doesn't get used, then we'll get rid of it. If it does get used, then we'll keep it. Or we'll try and increase the frequency. Give it one minute drop back there. Another one minute drop back there. Like that. Well, allow him to work it. No, we want that to be a solo route. Okay. You can be, you can have, uh, you can have 700. There we go. We'll give it a long bus to begin with. 
There we go. Are people using the bus? There it is. Getting ready for first one. We got one six. We got two people on it. Three people on it. This is crazy. Okay, it's getting all right usage. I'll accept that. We need to just connect up more places, I think. Do a mini personal road route. Just as a temporary trying to grow the grow the number. There we go. We'll have that as mini Pershaw Road. Again, that one's going to be like that. It's not going to have a terminus. There we go. Activate bus route now. You can have 701. Hopefully that number goes up just a slight bit. Harborn route is still being used so much. But it might just be in the city centre. Harborn full. Full. No, it is still just getting used throughout the whole route. I think we need to just put some more, more buses on it. That could be our next little money maker, to be honest with you. Go or risk it. We'll put 15. Only... Oh, that's why. Go, we'll put 15 on it on the Saturday too. And then Sunday, you could be 25 minutes. That's when it'll get an extra... Just one extra bus. I'm tempted just to make a bus route that goes from here... Just down this road, down here, down here, just to get 56%. Because I want to get rid of that contract. So I'm going to do it. i got to wait till midnight. Ah, they were. Whoa, what's happened there? Why have we got so many issues? Indicators. Indicators. Oh, is this because I didn't have the indic? Yeah, I remember now. We have to wait till Saturday for the delivery. Okay, we've made, we've hit it. We've hit that milestone. Research that. Research that. Okay, we can now delete that route. Wait, where's the other research that we unlocked? Okay, we can act, we can reach that ticket goal. That's that's doable. And I think we're going to expand the map. We're doing it. We're going to do it now. We're going to go east. I think that's the way I wanted to go to begin with. So let's do that quickly now. Expand to the east. That bus needs repairing too. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hopefully do that in a bit. We've just got a lot of repairs to catch up on. Researchers are hard at work right now. We've got a zero minute wait time, two point nine percent rating right now. Travel comfort could be improved. Just don't know what we would improve it with, to be honest. USB charging points, I think, is what we would have to improve it on. That costs one thousand two hundred per bus, but. Would improve the quality of the buses. Our area has been expanded. How far can we go now? Well, that's quite a distance that is actually. Quite the distance indeed. It means we can expand these three routes at least at minimum. Then when we expand south, we've got some more routes we can expand. Yeah, let's get these routes expanded now, I say. I'm going to get rid of this stop. Water Green, Bletchers Lane. Just to try and increase journey time just slightly. Or decrease journey time, sorry, may I say. Oh my god, why does it want to use every little section? What the hell? We'll allow those two stops together. And then we'll do that stop to try and get coverage on the way back to city. Uh, how far can we go? Can we go any further? We can, we can go to... Oh, come on game, like, that's just not, not needed. I think that's going to be the furthest we can go, actually. Okay, there we go. 51 minute journey time it is now. How does that affect our timetables? Lightly. So Sunday we'll have to do hourly. At most. At minimum. Uh, we could do half hourly now. I'm not sure. We might follow this road all day round. There is a, a, a big major point over there. Chelmsley Wood. Which we could terminate the route at. This might make the route a bit more popular to be honest. 52 minute, we'll make it half hourly now. Still having that 8 minute drop back in City. This route's actually properly lucky. Actually no, we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to make it be uh, a little bit less of a drop back. By adding a 4 minute drop back out and the outer terminus. Uh, the Coventry Road route can be extended. Or did I call it small heave? Boom, 56 minutes. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it like that, actually. We'll pop it half hourly on Sundays. Okay, we've expanded the map ever so slightly. But, that's a decent amount, in my opinion. 
Uh, USB ports are currently being uh, researched. We've got 45% of the map coverage now. It's starting to get lower now that we expand further out because well, there's less routes for us to do. We could maybe do a ring road route. But that, that might work, I don't know. Sundays just aren't busy at all. Therefore, on the Stratford Road. <laughs> this road is non-stop busy all the time for some reason. Probably because there's a lot of like points of interest. But then I would have thought Small Heathrow would be the same. It's not that busy. Time to spend a lot of money. Oh my god. 75k. An investment. We don't have enough money. Okay. Maybe it's not an investment yet. But it will be. I would say maybe we could start to try and sell some buses off. Then we don't have enough buses now. We could get an electric bus. We just won't have any charging for it. But... Go. let's get them sorted out more buses for the fleet can't say no to that oh i forgot to say there's this whole new electricity panel panel so if you get like different contracts there's now electric electrical contracts you get 100 green energy or zero percent green energy so we're using coughing coal and that then also boosts your carbon footprint plants on company premises I feel like we can we can do that go okay. has that increased our carbon footprint slightly Oh, it has. Only slightly, though. Let's get a couple of these to try and produce some form of power. Yeah, carbon environmental bonus is now 5%. We're now producing 7.2. I think that is. No, we produce 120. We need about 4,000. I mean, it'll save some money, I guess. That means we'll get a 5% bonus. Oh, okay, so only with electrical buses we get the bonus. Oh, okay. We'll get electrical buses at some point. Oh my god, we're 3.0 now. We just need to increase travel comfort, which means we need 55, 78. Oh my god. We're back in this situation again. Is it worth it taking a loan out so you can get the buses upgraded fast so you can boost our ratings so then we can get more people on the buses? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the contractor's happy with us. How much does the contract actually give a day? I forgot. Or per trip. 440 and 68 pence. Oh, that's the thing I forgot to check. Did we get any new contracts? I just want to be connected. You know what? We can do that one quite easily. On this Sunday, every 30 minutes. So as long as we make a route, that's less than half an hour. Give it a couple of extra stops here and there. Loop round Colmore Row. And then stop there. And if we just make this one just longer, because it's an easier contract, it means they'll have to pay us more, I think. Now, do we have enough buses for tomorrow yet? No. <laughs> What's gone wrong here then? Um, wait, let's test something. If we make them have 16 hour contracts, do we have enough buses? We do, but they are working some horrible hours. We might have to do that for tomorrow, to be honest with you. It doesn't mean, though. Yeah, we're going to have to do it for tomorrow. Don't worry. We will. We are getting there. We are getting... The issue is we're expanding a lot. And we're not expanding our fleet. Well, I'm trying to, at least. Does this have working deaths yet? No. Okay. Uh, does this one... It does. Okay, let's put let's do a desk on there and then. I'd love to do a save and start with darts. That'd be so cool. Oh, that's an E three hundred. That's not an E two hundred. Your new location's there then. Get some organization in here then. Okay, you're now moving to there. You're on your way to your paint shop. We're gonna have street well Gemini Freeze. Also it's like essentially a street deck body. But just Gemini Freeze. So we're going to have darts, E200s, E300s. Actually, no, E300s are probably going near the darts. Uh, but eclipses or urbans, however you want to call them. Centros are over here. All our buses going out now. That means we hit the morning, the morning start. I want to start buses earlier, to be honest. It would be nice if we can get to a point where we have profitable routes 24-7. Because then we could have a 24-7 service. And then we could always, we could then have more buses in our depot that we got for parking spaces. 
That'd be, that'd be good. Let's make some money. You want some time off? Go on then, mechanic. I'll let you have some time off this time. Okay. The morning rush on Stratford Road is, again, busy. It's busy on University. It's busy on Perry Bar. It's busy everywhere. Every route is busy. Ex well, the new extension is actually doing probably a bit better for the Washford Heath, actually. Um, you're running stupidly late. Not sure why. But again, you're also quite busy. I don't understand why the university is so busy now. That was a quick bit of money to begin with to start the day off. I think we're just going to need like double deckers on every route, which is concerning. I was hoping we'd have some corridor. I tell you, the Washford Heath isn't that busy. That's still dead. Smethwick to Weedy Castle is really busy. I need to just kind of watch these buses and see where the busyness is. Oh, okay. It's there where it like dies off to begin with. That's ah, steady. I want to know if I need to put any short journeys on the route. Whereas, so, for example, if the route's like busy on one side of the route, then I'll put more longer journeys. Or like I'll just keep it as full journeys. But if it's like busy on one section, then I could just put short journeys on the route. See, everyone gets off there. If I just extend the Bristol Road route, like, one stop to there, that could kill all of that demand. Tempted to. Okay, how's that rating? 3.3! I think this is the highest it's ever been. And we haven't even started upgrading the buses yet. Because we need £78,000 to upgrade the buses. Okay, let's do another order. Light, indicators, wipers. They're going very fast, those three are. Yeah, we got, no, we got no options at the moment. Which is good, to be honest. It means we're not spending unnecessary money. But other than the 78,000 which we're about to spend. Okay, we've hit 78,000. Why am I in the research menu? Upgrade every bus. Oh, that hurt. Every bus will be upgraded by our mechanics. To help them, let's hire two more mechanics. Again, let's make them, let's cut their air wages. Can't be paying them that much. But this is definitely going to boost our travel comfort. Which then will probably get it to like maybe three, maybe in a bit more than that. Which will encourage more people to use our public transport. Which means we'll get more people on the buses. Which means we'll make more money. Which means we'll be more seats. More money means we can buy more buses. And it's, it's, it's forever growth half that. How's the Bristol Road busy as well? Is there an event going on? Okay, we hit that many tours. Amazing. Our next all 73,000 tickets. We can do that easy peasy. 25 minutes. I think we're going to have to boost the Bristol Road frequency as well. I wonder if people are using it as like an interchange to get on the uh, mini Pershall Road. Mini Pershall Road route that we made. Okay, what is our least performing route at the moment? Probably going to be that. No, it's not. The contract. Oh, it's because it's just started. Um, yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah, that also makes sense to me. That's not doing good. I wonder why. Oh, it's day one still. Same with that one. That peak in the morning is crazy. I have to throw it every 12 minutes in the peak. Get another bus per hour through that. The university route needs so many more buses and I'm not sure why. Ah, oh, nice. We completed the contract. We got 1,600 for it. Nice. Um... Yeah, we throw that every 12 minutes and every 15 minutes in the daytime because that route is busy now and I'm not sure why. Probably a term, maybe university term starting. But the buses are now being upgraded. We're on 3.4% right now, which is amazing again. Need more internet a day now. We have to spend that much money on internet. That's worrying. We're making a lot of revenue as well. Selling tickets like there's no tomorrow. The service center doesn't have issues anymore. Good. I might get rid of that meal break. Get rid of that meal break and then get rid of a line of ticket or well, service center desk. Then they're always serving. Okay. We're going to get rid of the lunch break. Which means they're going to take it in turns to serve, hopefully. In theory, that should be how it works. The researchers. Yeah, we only want one when it's not when they're not needed. They're mechanics, I guess. Actually, no, just for a bit. Mechanics, I need all six of you in at all times. Do we have enough buses for tomorrow? We do, because they're doing long hours. I feel sorry for some of these drivers. That bus is literally on the Hagley Road all day. Oh, ring, ring, ring. What do they want? 
You want to break? Yeah, go on then, mate. Have a break, enjoy it. Got another bus now. Actually, another two buses, actually. Let's make that. That essentially needs repairing on everything. That's probably why I wanted to sell it. That needs that repairing. That. That. We got. Oh my god, we got loads of centuries now, I just realised, actually. Uh, that needs that, that, that. Eclipses are already breaking down. That makes sense. The next day in service, which will be on the next video. That's right. I'm leaving on a cliffhanger. I'm not really leaving on a cliffhanger. But I am going to end it off here. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we've expanded our company a little bit. Well, we've expanded our map coverage, which is pretty good. Uh, because we need more map coverage so we can get more people, more buses, more everything. Uh, I can't move these, okay? But yeah, so thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We made a solid 161k profit last time, or uh, Monday, which involves all of our buses being slowly upgraded to have USB chargers. We've had, it's just skyrocketed over the last two days, which is amazing. We've gone from, I think that was about 2.8 to 3.4. Our carbon footprint, we're slowly getting there. But yeah, I'm going to end it off there. Thank you all for watching, and I'm going to see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.